Become unstoppable, the stoic man's blueprint for modern triumph. In today's fast-changing world, facing big challenges, it's important for people to build a strong and unbeatable character. Being wise helps us make good choices. Having courage lets us take bold actions. Treating others fairly is justice, and controlling our desires is temperance. By embracing these qualities, we can become resilient and determined. Come join us as we discover how to stay strong, determined, and succeed in today's tough situations following the Stoic Man's Guide. Principle 1 Cultivating Virtues The main focus is on becoming a better person by developing good qualities. These qualities are called virtues, and they're really important for a happy and wise life. According to Stoicism, the only things we can control in life are our own actions and attitudes. Even though there are many things we can't control, Stoics believe that by being virtuous, we can find happiness and wisdom. Being virtuous means having good moral and ethical qualities, like being brave, fair, moderate, wise, and kind. These qualities help us make good choices and live a meaningful life. The Stoics especially value four virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. The only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing, Socrates. Wisdom is the most important virtue in Stoicism. It's not just about knowing things, but also understanding human nature. Wisdom helps us see what we can control and what we can't. It also helps us make smart decisions and do things for the right reasons, and courage is another virtue Stoics think is really important. It means facing challenges with bravery, even when we're scared or things are tough. Mark Twain once said, courage is resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not absence of fear. Being courageous also means sticking to our principles, even when it's hard or not popular. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Martin Luther King Jr. Justice is all about treating others fairly and with respect. It means doing what's right and moral. Justice is about being fair to everyone and looking out for the common good. Temperance is about controlling we and finding balance. It means not doing things to excess and being moderate in everything we do. Being temperate helps us deal with our emotions in a healthy way and resist doing things that might not be good for us. Philippians wisely said, make your moderation known to all men. Ancient philosophers like Socrates, who influenced Stoicism, believed that true wisdom comes from recognizing our own ignorance. This aligns with the Stoic emphasis on understanding what we can control and accepting what we can't. Similarly, the idea of justice and fairness has been a topic of discussion throughout history, with various thinkers emphasizing its importance in a well-ordered society. As the ancient Stoic philosopher Seneca said, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. This reminds us to use our time wisely and focus on what truly matters. Another Stoic philosopher, Epictetus, advised, we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. This suggests that while we can't control everything around us, we can control our reactions and actions, which is crucial for a good life. But first, make sure to subscribe to Stoic Legion and click the notification bell. That way, you won't miss our newest Stoic lessons. Principle 2. Embracing Adversity You are unfortunate in my judgment, for you have never been unfortunate. You have passed through life with no antagonist to face you. No one will know what you were capable of, not even you yourself. Seneca Embracing challenges can be a great favor to ourselves. When we see difficult situations as opportunities for discovery and growth, we open doors to enhancing our lives. I personally come from a privileged background in a developed nation, and yet I actively seek out adversity. Take, for instance, the physical challenges I willingly face, such as climbing towering mountains. In simpler terms, the idea here is to transform obstacles into opportunities. These hurdles give our lives meaning. The way we approach and overcome them defines our success. Instead of letting obstacles bring despair, it's crucial to learn from setbacks and find alternative routes around them. The ancient philosopher Seneca offers timeless advice on this matter. He encourages us to regularly expose ourselves to adversity so that we are not caught off guard when challenges inevitably arise. It is in times of security that the spirit should be preparing itself for difficult times, 
while fortune is bestowing favors on it, is then the time for it to be strengthened against her rebuffs. Now let's delve deeper into why embracing adversity is not just a philosophical concept, but a practical approach to a fulfilling life. When we actively seek challenges, whether they be physical, intellectual, or emotional, we develop resilience. This resilience becomes a valuable asset when facing unexpected hardships. It's like training for a marathon. The more you practice, the better equipped you are for the race. Consider the physical aspect of adversity as mentioned in climbing mountains. Beyond the obvious physical benefits, such activities cultivate mental toughness. When you're navigating treacherous terrain or pushing your body to its limits, you learn to stay focused, persevere and adapt. These qualities extend beyond the mountain, influencing how you approach difficulties in everyday life. Moreover, adversity often brings about innovation and creativity. When faced with challenges, we are compelled to think outside the box, explore unconventional solutions and push our limits. Some of the greatest inventions and breakthroughs in history have emerged from individuals confronting and overcoming adversity. Principle three, practicing detachment. Stoic detachment is a tool in Stoicism that helps people care less about external events and focus more on how they react internally. Stoics believe that while we can't control what happens around us, we can control how we respond. This detachment from outcomes is meant to bring emotional stability and reduce distress. The roots of Stoic detachment go back to the third century BC, flourishing under influential philosophers like Seneca, Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius. These thinkers saw detachment as crucial for maintaining composure in the face of life's unpredictability. Detachment aligns with modern psychological concepts such as cognitive restructuring and emotional regulation. By separating one's sense of worth from external events, individuals can maintain emotional balance, reducing vulnerability to stress and enhancing resilience. To apply stoic detachment in daily life, one must shift their perspective on life's ups and downs. Instead of getting too caught up in momentary successes or failures, detachment allows for a more level-headed approach, viewing events as temporary and not defining one's worth. Here are 10 practical tips for becoming a better Stoic. To navigate life with resilience and inner peace, it's crucial to adhere to several key principles. First, understand and accept what is within your control, recognizing that your thoughts, actions and reactions are within your sphere of influence while external events are not. Practice mindfulness by staying present and attentive, allowing you to observe your thoughts without judgment and effectively regulate your emotions. Cultivate virtue by embodying wisdom, courage, justice and moderation in your daily life. Embrace detachment, remaining indifferent to external circumstances and focusing on internal responses to foster emotional stability. Manage expectations, acknowledging life's unpredictability to limit disappointments and handle adversity with equanimity Show compassion by practicing empathy, contributing to the well-being of others. Employ negative visualization to imagine worst-case scenarios, appreciating what you have and preparing for potential setbacks. Maintain emotional balance by striving to regulate emotions, avoiding extreme highs or lows. Embrace change and uncertainty, accepting them as integral parts of life and learn to adapt and thrive in ever-changing circumstances and reflect and learn from your experiences, regularly assessing your actions and reactions and seeking constant improvement in the journey of personal development. Embracing stoic detachment fosters personal growth, cultivating emotional intelligence, resilience and tranquility by accepting life's uncertainties and focusing on personal virtues and ethics. Despite common misconceptions that stoic detachment is apathy or withdrawal, stoics value engagement in life, considering detachment a mechanism to manage reactions and maintain stability. Notable stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius emphasized detachment in their teachings, proposing to view life from a higher vantage point to attain separation and witness life's events without becoming overwhelmed. Critics argue that stoic detachment might lead to emotional suppression or withdrawal from societal responsibilities. However, 
Stoics contend that detachment equips individuals to handle life's challenges effectively, enhancing rather than detracting from societal engagement. To practice Stoic detachment, one can start by acknowledging the impermanence of external events, developing mindfulness and focusing on personal virtues rather than external validation. While other philosophical schools advocate detachment, Stoicism is distinct in its proactive approach. Buddhism, for instance, encourages detachment from worldly desires to end suffering, while Stoic detachment involves active engagement in life while managing emotional responses. Now the question remains, how to apply Stoicism to modern life? The Stoics saw the world as a series of ever-changing events beyond our control. Our lives, according to Stoics, are shaped by two things, the uncontrollable events around us and our responses to them, along with the values and beliefs we develop from these experiences. The key distinction lies in focusing our efforts on what we can control, our responses, expectations, beliefs and values, rather than futilely attempting to change the external world. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, emphasized finding happiness by letting go of concerns about things beyond our control. Stoicism provides a framework to assess our beliefs and determine whether they are constructive and adaptable or destructive and in need of replacement. By repeatedly undergoing this process over time, our outlook on life evolves, leading to personal transformation. In the context of modern life, while the challenges may differ from those faced by the ancient Greeks and Romans, the fundamental human experience of adversity remains constant. Stoicism offers timeless tools not just for solving specific problems, but for addressing how we perceive and respond to challenges. Here are the Stoic practices for modern life. Stoic journaling, the practice of journaling endorsed by Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus, remains relevant today. Reflecting on our thoughts, feelings and reactions to daily events allows us to process and understand ourselves better. Marcus Aurelius's private journal, though never meant for public consumption, exemplifies the value of self-reflection. In the contemporary context, all that is needed is a pen, a notebook, and some dedicated time for reflection. Meditation, meditation widely promoted for its benefits in various ideologies, serves as a tool for quieting the mind, improving focus, and reducing stress. The Stoics used meditation to reflect on how they responded to challenges, their virtuous actions, discerning what was within their control, and evaluating the true nature of their problems. In the modern world, meditation remains a powerful practice for enhancing overall well-being. Stoic visualization. Stoicism advocates negative visualization, or premeditatio malorum, to alleviate the suffering caused by hardship. This involves projecting oneself into the future, envisioning challenging situations or difficult decisions, and contemplating the worst-case scenarios. By mentally preparing for adversity, individuals can mitigate the anticipatory suffering often experienced before actual hardships occur. Negative visualization aids in processing stress, helping individuals cope with anxiety and uncertainty. In adapting stoic practices to contemporary life, it becomes evident that philosophy's principles remain applicable across diverse challenges. The enduring relevance of Stoicism lies in its focus on personal development, resilience, and the ability to navigate the complexities of human experience. While the external landscape has evolved, the internal struggles and triumphs remain fundamentally unchanged, making Stoic teachings a timeless guide for modern individuals, seeking wisdom and tranquility. So embracing Stoicism unlocks a powerful blueprint for modern triumph. By focusing on what's within our control, practicing self-reflection and using Stoic tools, we become unstoppable forces in navigating life's challenges. If you found these insights valuable, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more empowering content. Join our community of Stoic-minded individuals on a journey toward resilience and triumph.